I was told how much potential I had. If you're going to steal, let me teach you how to steal. Because kid, I'm either going to show you diamonds or I'm going to show you bars. Neil Rosema remembers the time he got caught stealing when he was eight. It was the same day his dad, a professional thief, finally gave him some attention. I found a way, found an avenue. This makes him happy. This has him, this has us connected. And uh, that was the, the first time that I really ever felt like my father loved me. Over the next decade, he followed his dad's lead, learning the ins and outs of being a thief. But while they gave him time with his father, it came at a price. I always knew um, from the beginning that it was wrong. And I was never happy um, deep down inside with the person that I became. I just wanted my father to love me. That's all. That's all I've ever wanted. Just wanted, I wanted my father to love me. Neil started using pot, cocaine, and other drugs, but nothing killed the pain. Then, a friend introduced him to heroin. As soon as I got up after inhaling this drug, I looked at him and I said, I don't know what that was, but I have a new habit. Whoa. I immediately felt peace, I felt calm, I felt like I didn't care. I never wanted to quit this, never. For the next seven years, Neil supported his addiction by working in bars, and stealing, which landed him in jail on several occasions. During that time, he suffered a devastating loss when his father passed away. But then he started dating Carrie, who was a Christian. We spent a lot of time together and just getting to know each other, and I fell in love with Neil, there's no question. The fact that someone this wonderful would even want to spend time with a guy like me, that, that brought me hope. There's a better way to live and there's someone on this earth that might love me. As much as Neil cared for Carrie, he couldn't let go of his addiction and kept it hidden from her. I wanted to change even if it was just for her, but I couldn't overcome it. Eventually, the two got engaged, but just weeks later, Neil was arrested for stealing a wallet from a gym locker and was put in jail. I was devastated to know that when she finds the truth, she's gonna leave. And the one person that loved me, that I knew loved me, I was gonna lose. And it was because of me. With no one to turn to, Neil called Carrie to post bond. By now, she had talked to a friend of Neil's who had told her everything. My heart just got ripped out. And I told him I, I didn't wanna see him anymore. And I ended the relationship. When I put that phone down, I, I was in a daze because for the very first time in my life, I felt absolutely and completely alone. Even if I had the money to bond out that day, I had nowhere to go, absolutely nowhere to go. Neil returned to his cell. And for the first time in my life, and I've never done this, I looked up and I said, God, I'm all alone. I've hit rock bottom. I have nothing left. I have nothing more. I can't give anymore. I'm tired of this. If you'll help me, if you'll protect me, help me get through this, I'll follow you for the rest of my life, no matter what. I collapsed and I fell on the floor and I couldn't move, and I could feel something hovering over me, and I could feel the warmth of something going through me, and it felt like there were things inside being moved around, things being taken out, things being put back in, and then all of a sudden it went completely quiet, and it took everything I had just to climb up in my bunk and pass out. When I woke up the next morning after that, the desire for heroin was completely gone. All the, the, the terrible things that were inside of me weren't there anymore. For the first time in my life without chemicals, I felt peace, I felt love. Neil began praying, reading his Bible, and repenting for his actions. And a week later, he was called to the visitor room. There waiting for him was Carrie. 
I just told him everything that was on my heart. I felt like God had said that, you know, that he wanted me to stay with him and to pray with him and, and to fight for him. And if he was willing to do the right thing, that I would do that with him. Didn't have to do that. And the fact that he went above and beyond and brought the person that I loved the most in this whole entire world back to me, that sealed it for me. Neil was sentenced to four and a half years. He and Carrie used that time to grow in their relationship with each other and with God. Then immediately after his release in 2007, they married. Today, Neil is an operations manager for one of the largest landscaping companies in Illinois. But he says his most important roles are as a husband and father to their four children. Jesus never gives up on us. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what your addiction is. I don't care what you're struggling with. Give it up. Don't wait. He loves you unconditionally.